Okay, everybody, it is Harlan, and we are recording. We are, you're looking at a mind map that I've done for advertising on your click post cash site. And we're going to go through a number of different things, including Amazon ads, which some new strategies that I'll share with you, Google AdSense, large affiliate programs that you might want to work, ClickBank, and then some other sources of revenue. We will be taking your questions, of course, at the end, so make sure to pay attention and write them down. Now, I have to tell you that there are some people who are saying, well, you know, I can't do Amazon ads. Okay, the concepts that I'm going to be showing you work in um, for Amazon ads and the other affiliate programs. So when I talk about Amazon, it's up to you to translate it to your own affiliate program. There are many, many other affiliate programs that we will be talking about, and I am sure that you are going to find something that's going to make you money. Now, the idea here is that the money begins to add up. And as you switch from um, from a click post cash site to a serious business the money comes in more and more but the most successful click post cash sites the most effective sites the most profitable sites on the internet are ones that test see what works and then move out of the way if it's not working well then you need to do something else so I'll show you things that are working, I'll show you things that aren't working, and we'll go through that. So the most money that you will probably make, even though people say that it doesn't work, are ads in your Facebook stream. So if we go to Facebook and I go to Best Yoga Videos, you'll see that I have... Um, put up a link, okay? Thinking of getting someone you know a yoga video as a gift, this video set gets high reviews. Now what happens is that, the, remember this is not a huge list, it's about 3,000 people, it's also a Sunday, they're typically much more active during the week. Two people like this, okay? Two people like this, that means that their lists see my ad and my um, affiliate link, okay? Of course, when you do this on your site, the more often that you do this, the more often that you post a link in the stream, then the better you do. Here, someone wanted to know, this was a month ago, um, you know, what would work for their own back pains, um, and I, asked them a couple of questions about where the pain was and they said ah just what you need it's excellent but I needed to find out what the problem was I answered the question I gave her a link and of course she bought it because I showed an interest so the most money that you will probably make will be putting these into your stream that's where the money is okay so go ahead and make sure and if you're over a thousand, you should be advertising ads in your Facebook stream. So let's add if you have over 1,000 likes. And we'll make that a little bit bigger for you. Okay. Now, advanced ads use a photo and an Amazon short code. Okay. So this is an Amazon short code, and what you might want to do is, let's copy our short code. I'll go to one of my video accounts. Um, so for a man doing yoga.
Ah, just what I needed. So I label my things, man, yoga man on desk computer. And we come to Facebook and I'm going to upload a photo. First I'm going to put in no anyone who spends too much time on the computer. This would be a great gift. Now I'm going to find that picture. You can do this, come on. Now I'm going to schedule that. I'm not going to post it since I've just posted something. So I'm going to add 11. Tomorrow is the 12th. And let's do that when people are at the office. So let's come back from lunch to, let's make it 2.20 p.m. There we go. And that's what's, thank you. Okay, so they're going to see this picture of the guy on the computer, and they're going to um, see the link underneath. That will get you some, um, some serious cash. Okay, now change up your ads frequently. Um, whether it's on your site or it's on your Facebook page, vary the ads. Don't keep doing the same thing. We've seen, and those of you who are in the Facebook group, I've pointed out the guy who does the, do you like puppies, and he keeps putting the same ad. Now, I'm sure he's making some money there, but if he would vary up his offers, he would make a lot more. Now, if an ad that you did was successful, advertise it again. On the meditation page, I've been advertising on and off a book called The Cow in the Parking Lot. Um, it's a really good book, and I advertised it last month, and I sold 17 copies. 17 copies is not huge money, but it tells me that, remember, not everybody sees all of the ads, that it's a, a successful promo, so I repeated it again, and it's the month is early, and it's still doing well. So I will come back to the cow in the parking lot. Now the interesting thing that happened this time is that when I did the uh, promo for it, um, when I did the promo for it, um, other people started getting involved and saying how good the book was, so I sold even more, okay? Um, another way of making money with Amazon ads is by um, is by finding out new products in the market and letting people know about it. That will sell very, very well. So let's say I want to go to Amazon. And I want to go to, let's say, yoga videos. Yoga DVDs. Now on the left hand side, generally here, best hot new releases. Okay, well that's not showing us here. Let's go to, um, um, let's go back to um, yoga DVDs. And here, we want to do sorting. Let's choose movies and TV. Okay. And we also get to see um, um, a release date. Okay. So 
we see um, things that are um, coming out um, and you can be the first to advertise them. Okay, so here's um, yoga for back pain and is being released in December. Okay, I'll be advertising that before Christmas. Okay, yoga for real energy. Okay, yoga harmonizing the hips, December 4th, right after um, Black Friday. Um, yoga for weight loss will probably do very, very well. So I'm looking at what's coming out so I can stay on top of things. Now, if I keep going ahead, here's November 27th, um, uh, November 20th. November 13th, that's not much of a yoga um, thing. This one's coming out Tuesday, Easy Yoga for Beginners. Of course, I'm going to check the description out to see if it's any good. Um, desk Yoga Essentials. Okay. Um, and this, again, stuck at a desk. Here's something that will help you. And that will probably do it well at a bunch of um, sites. Now, one thing that you need to be aware of is that when you post things on your Facebook wall, people will uh, very often respond and just be rude. Uh, they'll say something about you for selling on Facebook, like the only person who's allowed. Um, um, the uh, the don't pay too much attention. Um, to what people say to you on Facebook. But, uh, you know, people think, you know, Facebook should be free. Well, Facebook's making pretty good money, and other people are being pretty good money. If someone says, you know, I don't think that you should sell us stuff, that we should just be uh, whatever, um, there are some very, very sweet things that you can say and say, yes, um, you know, I, I certainly understand the way you feel. However, it does take a lot of time and devotion to find the very best videos and share them with you. And this helps compensate and keep me motivated to do it. And um, usually people go away. Uh, if somebody is really rude, then you should delete and ban them. Okay, next, let people know the price up front. I've sold people books on meditation in the Kindle store. Let's see if we can get over to the Kindle store. Kindle books. Um, Kindle books. And I typed in meditation. And I found some books that were really, really cheap. Um, really, really cheap. Why can't I find the one that was um, sort by price, low to high? A lot of free books. Okay, if you lead with a free book, okay, then they're going to come to Amazon and they're going to get your free book. Always let them know that they can get a free Kindle reader, but you let them know here's a free book. It's free. It's on Amazon. And then let Amazon sell them something else. And that's where you're going to make a lot of money. Look at how many free things that you can choose from. And I know, let's say, um, I know there are people in different niches. Let's say bread baking. Okay, sort by relevance. But let's go price low to high. And look at all the books that you can get. Well, there's one book for um, here. I've done very, very well with books for 99 cents. And I let people know it's 99 cents. Okay. So um, if you're in the cooking niche, thanks, giving recipe, Thanksgiving recipes, 
price, low to high, and there you go. Okay, so it's pretty um, easy to get people over to Amazon with a free purchase and then let Amazon sell them more things. Okay, if you're into raw or vegan, here's a vegan Thanksgiving feast. Okay, people will go over there and they'll check it out. So I know some of you are in the raw food niche, some of you are in healthy food niche. Um, I'm just looking, uh, there are so many different things. I know people are in NLP. Low to high, and 99 cents is the, the cheapest, but there's some other things that you can do. Here's some public domain books that people are, are using. So the bottom line here is that there are plenty of of things that you can do to get more results out of your Amazon account. During the holiday season, people go crazy buying on Amazon. Amazon will make more money. Um, Amazon will make more money during from Black Friday. Remember, the Monday after Thanksgiving is called Cyber Monday. Amazon makes obscene amounts of money, and people are in the holiday spirit. It is your job, okay, to get people over there. On all through Thanksgiving, um, on Cyber Monday, you should post at least four to six attempts to get people over to Amazon. Seriously, people have spent days shopping and pricing, and smart people want to go to Amazon because they can save on tax and they can save on shipping if you're the one who gets them over to Amazon and that's when they decide to buy the new oven that's when they decide to buy the new refrigerator you're going to get the credit so on the Monday after Thanksgiving please 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 be um, one of those who gets people over to um, uh, to Amazon now if you can relate an Amazon item to your post, you'll be getting more sales. Um, if, if you can relate an Amazon item to your post, you'll get more sales. So for example, um, I have a post on, um, on Best Yoga Videos, but it's a set up post and it's about related to a recent post about your yoga mat and I tell people what to do. Of course, it would be much better to have that under the best uh, yoga mat. Let's do that right now. Let's edit the post. Let's go here. Let's go to Amazon. It's all set up. This is by far the best yoga mat in the business. It's soft and yet very sticky when you sweat. Okay, and so we update that. And that's what's going to make us some money. Okay? Now, also here you see that um, those related posts that I talked about um, on the forum last week with the new relayed 
um, and relate plugin. Okay, let's get back to our mind map. Um, check what people are buying every day from your link. That means that you have to check into your Amazon account and make sure that you know what people are buying. Don't check in at the end of the month and see what happened. Go every day and see what people are buying from you. You know what to post again, you'll know what didn't do well. Okay, that pretty much covers the use of Amazon. Let me show you something that's absolutely not helpful. Um, now I'm telling you, these are, this is very helpful, specific ads on the side. Let's take you and show you one that's not helpful at all. And it will be coming down. And the idea to put up a holiday um, ad for, um, for Amazon and telling people to click there before they do their holiday shopping, I haven't made a dime off of that. So that will come down and we'll put up another product there. Okay, looks like we're having a slow internet day here. Um, on the weekend, usually we do better on the weekend. Um, it's just a slow day today there. Okay, but the bottom line is this site is making money. Now, as long as we're on this site, let me show you that we have, okay, so what do we have? We have an AdSense, and a Google AdSense ad, and we have a MasterCard ad. Those came to us through Google AdSense. I can't click on them because if I do, I will get myself kicked out of the AdSense program. So you don't want to click on people. You don't want to click on people whose ads are in the program. Google will track that, and uh, so you're actually not doing someone a favor by clicking on their ads. You're possibly hurting them because the, height, the, the sites are hosted in the same place. I wouldn't do that. I recommend against it. I know how you like to give each other likes, but uh, don't do that here. So when it comes to Google AdSense, um, I'm finding that the AdSense gives you a choice of text ads or banner ads. In my opinion, there is no question that the banner ads do much better. I've tested that. So why do these ads do so well? And the answer is because of what Google is doing now and a lot of sites are doing. It's called retargeting you will find ads that literally stalk you around the internet. So here we go. At Best Yoga. And we have an ad from Amazon. We have our um, uh, video, um, next video um, plugin, which I call Hang Time. Here's my opt-in. And here we have um, an ad for yoga teachers. Actually, we have two ads for yoga teachers. We're going to say more about this one. Both are from Mind Body. So that's actually pretty good and pretty related to what we're doing. If we go over to um, Cute Dog Videos, Um, here it knows that I was just on a yoga site so it's showing me a yoga ad okay and here is a, like a charity ad but if I go over to Doggington Post okay here we have a uh, dog product ad these are all served by Google um, and here's something about the health care law. I don't know who that is or what that's advertising. Okay. Um, and this ad, which is just a general Amazon ad, has done nothing, and that's going to be um, replaced. So these ads um, can make a lot of money, is these AdSense ads. AdSense ads are served by Google. Um, 
And when, um, when Google puts up the ad, um, it does two things. Number one, it will show content that's related in theory to your site, but you make the most ad from retargeting. That's when Google, and it's really up to Google to do this, Google shows an ad that is um, related to something that they saw previously on the internet. And that is, um, that makes you a, a lot of money. So if that person was shopping for a hat for himself, and they come to your site, if that hat site was using retargeting, they're going to come to your site and they're going to see a hat ad no matter what your um, no matter what your site is selling. But don't be upset that you know people are doing that. It makes you money, and that's what um, that's what this is all about. It's about making you money. So make sure you follow the rules when you go to AdSense. You can use only three banners per page. Okay, three banners, three AdSense units per page. Um, any more than that, and AdSense believes that you are <coughs> lowering the user experience. I use square banners in the right-hand column. They offer you a choice of 250 by 250, and that's what I'm using. Now, WP Zoom, if you go in your dashboard, you go into your dashboard, um, here, I'm logged in here, and I'll go into my dashboard. You'll see that WP Zoom in their theme updates under miscellaneous lets you put in um, uh, tracking, but it also lets you put in it also under ads. Um, and sidebar ads, you can put in your AdSense codes here. That's not the way I do it. What I do it is I go to widgets and um, so the first one is my Amazon ad. Okay, now this one is my Aweber form and this one is my AdSense ad. See, Google gave me a script, I dropped it into a text widget on the right hand side, and it starts showing my ads. The next one that I have is something that I started today. Again, I test these things for you, and we have what are called Comuna ads. We will be showing them. They also have a script. Um, Oh, the, the reason you don't see anything is because it's their own widget. You'll, we'll discuss that when we get um, to it. Okay, back to our sheet. Okay, so you can drop in there, but I use the AdSense codes with text widgets. Um, works very easily for me. That's what I recommend doing for you. And you can test and see what works. Um, I'm not by any stretch of the imagination an AdSense expert. I can just tell you that it's starting to make me some really good money. So remember that what you see and what others see on your site are two totally different things. It doesn't really matter as long as people click on it. Um, you may never see ads that are related directly to your site. Okay, You could go to your yoga site and never see anything depending on what you've been clicking on. That's okay, don't worry about it. Okay, now uh, we've covered Amazon ads and of course the way to get in AdSense is if you don't already thing, it's Google AdSense, so just you know Google the phrase um, AdSense. Um, and if you're an absolute newbie and you don't have a clue about AdSense, I'm going to recommend that you like get a book about AdSense. It's pretty easy to do. Um, spend some time and in the course of an afternoon you'll be pulling codes like a pro. Okay, um, 
let's take um, let's take that one off for now. Okay, large affiliate programs. There's some really um, large affiliate programs that you can join, and they will give you codes similar to post on your site. Some of the biggest are Share a Sale, the Google Affiliate Program, and Commission Junction. And what you do when you go to these sites is you look for um, things that are in your target market. So I might look for pets. I might look for um, I might look for um, uh, dogs, yoga, etc., and see what they've got. Now, I have to tell you that some of these convert really well, and some of these don't. They give you statistics on what they think you can expect. I have never found those with any accuracy. Test an offer, see what works for you, and then move on. Okay. Now, next I want to talk to you about ClickBank. ClickBank is a huge affiliate network. And if you're not already a member of ClickBank, it's free to join. They're not going to reject you. And they've paid out, this is how much they've paid out, which is you know, $2.2 billion in the past 14 years. So in order to sell something on ClickBank, you need to log in. I'm going to log in now. And I don't do much selling anymore on ClickBank, but I want to go to the marketplace. And I might find, and now I know that there are things here, but let's go to see if there are any yoga products. Shape Shifter Yoga. Okay. Now, let's show you what goes on here. Let me make this bigger. Under everything, you will see the initial sale. Okay, here they're selling a product called um, uh, Shape Shifter Yoga. Um, it's a yoga program, and they give you 75% of this amount. Okay? So 75% of 27 20 uh, of $25. Okay? $25 times 0.75 you're getting 18.75 per sale. That could add up to a lot of money, okay? Here is um, uh, an online teacher's training and certification program, okay? But let's take a look at some numbers here. There's something that's called gravity. Gravity tells you how well affiliates are doing, okay? 15.79 tells you it's doing pretty well. Gravity of zero tells you that this product is not selling at all and you shouldn't even bother promoting it. Gravity of 2.6, this is not doing very, very well. Brilliant Yoga, 2.70, not doing very well. Okay. Um, opportunity, Spanish Yoga, okay. If you have a Spanish site for yoga, that might help. Here, this gravity is 0 0.30. I wouldn't even waste your time. Where you get half, their average sale is 270. When they give you half, that's a dollar. Okay, yoga weight loss secrets, no gravity, it's not converting. Okay, so that's how you do it. Let's go to a different niche. Let's go to dogs. Now, once we're in dogs, you can search by gravity. That will tell you the highest. Okay, it's not letting me search by dogs by gravity. So let's go ahead and do dogs. And let's look for keyword relevance. There we go. Um, we're going to have to go through here and see what's working. Okay, here again, you're seeing low gravity, low gravity. Okay, 1.96, 1.65. I'm not going to waste my time on this. Here's one. 
healthy food for dog homemade recipes. Okay, um, going raw, putting your dog on a raw diet. So um, that's four point three. Let's see what happens. Um, let's get the link. Let's go over to Facebook. Doggington Post. Are you sick? Are you sick and tired of buying a treat for your fur baby and finding out it was recalled. Do what so many of our readers do. Make it yourself. Here's one way of doing it. Okay, and since it doesn't really um, bring up a photo, I'm going to just post it. Okay, so bottom line is that's how you do ClickBank. In the ClickBank marketplace, you search for what you want to do, and then you go ahead and um, uh, you can um, look for, let's see if we can find a gravity of above 20 in this niche. Okay, so here's a gravity of 35. Okay, dog food secrets. Um, okay, that's one um, thing of, of doing it. The rest don't have anything related to dogs. Oh, here's, no, that was, that was it. So we're getting some good, we got two good dog recipes here, and we can see what the offer looks like, dog obedience training, okay? These are sites that you know are converting because they have um, high gravity. So you're getting an average sale is, is $30.64, okay? 30 64 and you're getting 67% of it. So you're making $20.52. So as you can see, if you find a product that will convert on uh, with ClickBank, uh, make sure, study it, find the tone of the offer, study the gravity of the offer. And you'll also find that there are some that offer continuity where you get paid every month. So let's say one of these dog food recipe sites gives you, um, uh, you know, every month they'll send you new recipes. Some people like doing that. Um, let's look for recipes. Okay, now here we see, look at that gravity, 116.83. Uh, That's crazy gravity, crazy gravity. Um, the sale is $16.28. You get 70% of that. They, but the rebills don't do anything. Like people aren't doing it. Now here's another one where um, the rebills work really well. Okay, so that means that every month you'll be getting a check from people who do that. Uh, bottom line here, make your favorite restaurant dishes at home. 
um, it's 1850, you get 73% of that, and you also get 670 a month for people who rebill. So here's a fat loss cookbook that it's 45 bucks. You get 75% of the um, 32. Uh, most people take the upsell, that's how it got up to 45 bucks. And the rebill, more than half the people who buy um, take the rebuild. That would be if you've got anything to do with weight loss or cooking, that would be a good offer to, um, to promote. It's working. All right, we'll just keep her quiet. But it's obviously working, so pay attention. I want to leave the page. Oh, they lower the price in case you want to leave. A lot of ClickBank sites do that. So, um, um, study the gravity of the offer, study continuity offers. Okay, other sources of revenue. Number one, you can find as many affiliate programs as you could possibly need by going to affiliateseeking.com. It's like an encyclopedia of affiliate offers. Go through it. Apply to the ones that interest you. Um, if you get rejected, congratulations, everybody gets rejected. Um, the Doggington Post got rejected from a bunch of affiliate uh, programs, and I just like wrote back to them and I said, you know, like, very funny. Um, but I didn't care because I'm making plenty of money elsewhere. Okay, now I started using Kamuna today on the um, uh, best yoga videos. And Kamuna ads will appear. They're not appearing yet. Now, the nice thing about Kamuna is that if you do not have an ad showing from Kamuna, and frankly, I expect that it'll take about 24 hours to get an ad up, they're just showing another um, AdSense ad. You can give them your AdSense code, and if you want to see um, a different... Um, if, if their ad isn't going to show they'll let you show something else in its place. So they're making sure that you get money. It's pretty unusual, I guess, because it's going through two different servers to see um, two ads um, the same way there. But I just put it up today. Let's give Kamuna 24 hours to see what's going on. I'm not particularly worried about that. So where you go to Kamuna, uh, kamu kamuna.com. And it's a pretty um, easy process to go in. They have an AdSense companion. That means, you know, it, it's a really, really nice um, uh, deal. And, of course, it puts the ads up for you. You make money. Very, very simple. And I know people make a lot of money for with Kamuna. So go there, study it. It's pretty easy. If you have any questions, ask me on the Facebook um, uh, form. Okay, Cafe Press. A couple of people have talked about putting up offers from Cafe Press. Cafe Press sells all kinds of amazing junk. You can join their affiliate program and you can get things, you know, like, but it's very, very specific. Um, let's go do Pomeranian t-shirts or Pomeranian coffee mugs. There we go. And you can get um, all kinds of, of things on a mug. Okay. Um, if we're doing, I don't know, um, pit bulls, pit bull travel mugs, pit bull uh, coffee mugs. Okay, lots of um, lots of good stuff. Uh, pit bulls, I get a bad rap. Okay, you can get just about anything. Thanksgiving dogs. And um, all kinds of cute things. 
that you can get mugs on um, and post these on your site, join their affiliate program. There are tons and tons of things. You also make a lot of money if you have a cute idea and you can design your own. It doesn't cost you anything to design your own. All you do is um, is make money. Um, and you know, someone here has made a design and put in different things, so you get to sell it, and they get to um, make a little piece of it because it was their idea as well. You can get things for um, just about any topic if you're into sports. Let's look at the Yankees. Okay, and there are all kinds of um, um, Yankees mug, Yankee Stadium. Um, but some of them are hostile. I'd rather be Yankee Stadium. Okay, baseball is meant to be in pinstripes. Lots of good stuff if there's a Yankee fan. I don't know if they do individual people, um, but, you know, hockey, you name the sport, and you will be able to get some products. Very simple, just um, um, some cute things. Um, I'm sure my, my son's got a birthday coming along, um, a, uh, a t-shirt that says got teeth or something like that, or for someone who's a goalie, the puck stops here. Lots of cute, um, um, lots of cute things um, that a hockey person would uh, would definitely like. So that's Cafe Press, and I know that there are a lot of people who make money with Cafe, Cafe Press. If you want to design an item and you don't know how to do it, then go over to Fiverr and you will see plenty of people who will design something for you on Fiverr for five bucks. Of course, your own Kindle book, you can make a lot of money. Give it away on your site for zero or 99 cents, but sell it as your own affiliate so that when they go over to the site, you get the added revenue of being the affiliate. Now remember, even if you can't be an Amazon affiliate, Anybody in the world can sell their own um, Amazon, uh, their own Kindle book, and it's a source of revenue. I myself am making about an average of $800 a month selling um, my Kindle book, uh, my Kindle books, and I'm doing no work promoting them. I'm not even posting them on, on the sites. Um, now, there are also specialized affiliate programs. I know that there are people here who are in um, hiking um, or different things. Well, if you know a company that you like, um, you can contact them about joining their affiliate program. Uh, basically, uh, very often down on the bottom of the site, you can apply to an affiliate program and they don't do anything for you. Well, I have to tell you that um, if you pick up the phone and call them, you will be automatically in. So think about the um, um, think about the sites in your niche. For example, in the yoga niche or the spirituality niche. Um, not sound view. Um, who are the people? Um, meditation recordings. Let's see if it comes up. No. Okay, so who do they have? Um, sounds true. There we go. So, Sounds True, you know, I joined their affiliate program, and it took a long time to do it. I called them up, and um, I posted it, and eventually I got through and they um, I've made money with sounds true which of course reminds me I should go back and they're working through link share link share took their time about approving me so I called sounds true here I asked to speak to them I tracked down a phone number for them and um, 
I eventually got into the program, need to do more with it. But in your niche, there are probably affiliate programs that would be very helpful to you. So look around. You'll, you'll find things, okay? Uh, my advice, if they won't let you in, pick up the phone and call them. Remember, it doesn't harm them to let you into the program. If you call them, you show that you are serious. Now, um, you've probably seen some of the videos that I've been talking about. I just want to let you know that um, I found and I actually spoke to the owner of someone who had a CPC type site that recently sold for more than half a million dollars. And there are some things that you could be doing that will make you a lot more money with your CPC site than you originally thought. And I'm going to be discussing this on a webinar this week. If you want to get on the early announcement list for that webinar, go over to supersiteformula.com and you will be able to be the first ones to register for the webinar. I'm going to be doing the webinars twice on Thursday. One is going to be in the afternoon, East Coast time. One is going to be in the evening. So everybody can get on it. And I'll be showing you why your CPC site is actually um, the platform to something that can make you much more money than you ever dreamed possible. So go ahead and get on the list if you haven't been there yet supersiteformula.com. There are lots of videos on the site that I've posted. Go look at them and you'll see about what, um, what I'm going to be teaching about this week. Okay, um, let's go over to your questions. Um, Glenn is going to look at your questions and ask me and I'll do the best I can to help you. Hope you learned something. Type in, by the way, type in if you learned something. Say, Yes, I learned something, or no, same old stuff. Okay. Where can you get the easy Amazon widget? Um, that should have been installed in your ClickPost cache site. It probably is. If not, ask Danielle. Why only do Facebook promos after a thousand likes? Um, because we don't want to scare people away and it's so easy to get those thousand likes. Okay, so let's go to questions now. And Sure. You guys, make your day happy. Happy to give it to you. Yes, absolutely. To her Facebook page, she waits for a thousand likes. Um, actually, between Share a Sale, Commission Junction, and the Google Affiliate Program, um, I've probably done better historically at ClickBank. Minimum gravity, just go through the author, author go through the offers and try things. Again, if you're getting gravity in the single digits, it's probably not going to be converting very well. Okay, well... Uh, if you have a Kindle book, you get the code for your book 
and just paste it um, and you talk about it a lot. Um, hopefully you can sell it as an affiliate. Um, but that is, um, uh, that's what you really need to do is first get your book up on Amazon and then let everybody know that it's your own book and you'll probably do very well with that. Why not? Why not? Not everybody goes to your site. Not everybody sees what, what you have. So um, why not? Uh, you can do that. Um, I'm not big on that. You can use tiny URL if you like, a link shortener. Amazon does its own link shorteners that I use the Amazon link shortener, um, but it's not a big deal. There are a lot of people who are afraid that they're going to get their commissions hijacked and whatever, and I don't pay a lot of attention to that. The, Omar, the answer is that what you want to do is test. If you're making money, if you're making good money from Amazon, then you don't need more. But if you can't be in Amazon or you want to test others, see what happens if you do ClickBank. See what happens if you do uh, Cafe Press. There's no reason why, if you're running multiple affiliate offers, your chances of making more money go up. No, they do that. They do that. Good question. They do that automatically. No, but we're not, since we're sending traffic over from Facebook, we're not really concerned about that. then what you want to do is you want to make sure not to give Kamuna your code. And Kamuna, if you don't give Kamuna your code, you can put another code, your AdSense code, you can give them another code instead. But if you have Kamuna there and you end up with more than, um, um, more than one, then I would not do that. I'm, I'm, wait, 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 you got to read that slow, more slowly. Okay. Every, well, first of all, she shouldn't be doing a link on every post. No, not every post. No, N never, um, never said that. Um, yes, that would be fine. Okay, so um, let's go. Um, let's go back and let's close that. Okay, so here in the dashboard. in WP Zoom, 
you can have it add um, in banners, sidebar bar ads, you can put your AdSense code here and you can tell it you want it before widgets, after widgets, I would do after the widgets and, and do um, that. You could also put your own banners with images. Let's say you're doing a ClickBank ad. You can do, the, do it there. Um, I prefer to do it in widgets. And when I go to widgets, here's a, um, this is a Google widget. This is the code that I got from Google and I drop it in. Very simple, very easy, nothing. There's um, my Aweber code. Okay, other questions? You don't need it. First of all, you can't have more than one personal account. Okay, that's that's a. B. One has nothing to do with the other. You don't need links in your fake in a fake name. Just sign up. When you go to Amazon using Amazon Amazon as an example, you have to use your real name because you have to give them a real contact information. You have to give them real bank account information and so forth. So forget any fake accounts. Um, you need to be giving these advertisers your real name and real account or you aren't going to get paid. Doesn't matter. You only get, no, no, one account. It's, in, in most of these cases, I'm sorry, Glenna, in most of these cases, it's illegal for you to have, it's against the rules for you to have more than one account. Right. Other questions? We're, we've we're, let, let's skip let's skip let's skip that because we just discussed it. Just put your just just enter your name on the right hand side. And right there, and you'll be able, you'll notice. Notice, by the way, already that I put AdSense on this site. The site's been up for about a week, and it's already making money. Uh, yes, that is correct. One, you're paying for advertising. The other one, the advertising is paying you. I'm sorry, well, the first one, you're advertising to get likes for your page, and the second kind of advertising, you're um, getting paid. Excuse me? No, no, no. As long as you're using uh, videos that you're allowed to post because it's under the standard YouTube license, you don't have a problem.
I just posted one and I didn't. Um, yes, go to our FAQ page on clickpostcash.com forward slash FAQ. Absolutely not. We're here to assist other uh, members not to make money off them. Because there's some states that are arguing with Amazon about sales tax issues, such as North Carolina. And if you live in one of those states, you can't be admitted to the Amazon program. It has nothing to do with you. It's a fight between Amazon and the state about taxes. You aren't being bad or anything like that. You'll have to wait till Thursday. All right, everybody. Um, I want to thank you guys for coming and spending uh, some time. We will hopefully get this up for you tomorrow. And um, thank you all so much. I hope you learned something. Now go make even more money. Everybody, thank you, Glenna. And all right, everybody, go have a great rest of the day or evening.